Now, the death this month of 45-year-old Sudan, the last male northern white rhino on the planet, rings the alarm on the imminent extinction of other endangered animals. The news also gives a renewed urgency to Kate Brooks' documentary, The Last Animals, about the threat poaching poses to the dwindling populations of rhinos and elephants. The film was showcased at the Environmental Film Festival in Washington. Viewers Penolope Pepulo has more. We get comments from people around the world that are watching Nola and seeing how she's doing through her illness right now. Nola has since died. In an interview with The Voice of America, filmmaker Kate Brooks spoke about the impact of poachers on the remaining rhinos. Southern white rhino population is around 20,000 with northern whites, the number's down to three, and the last male, Sudan, um, is hovering around the natural age of death and not in very good health. The day after this interview, Sudan died. <laughs> At the Garamba National Park in Kenya, Brooks films clashes between park rangers and poachers. The decision to go to Garamba National Park was really based on the fact that it is a place where there's a true intersection with the ivory trade and terrorism that it's the last place the northern white rhinos lived in the wild and it is the very front lines of the ivory wars where people, poachers and rangers are being killed. Brooks says in the past 10 years, more than a thousand rangers have been killed in clashes with poachers in conservancies and parks across Africa. Superstition that rhino horn is an aphrodisiac or can cure cancer makes it the world's most expensive animal commodity, and in many parts of the world, it funds terrorist organizations. Brooks' film, The Last Animals, advocates a strict worldwide ban on trade in rhino horn and ivory. Trophy, a documentary by Christina Cluzio and Shaul Schwartz, makes the case that only legalized rhino horn breeding, which means trimming the horns of the animals every few years, can stop poaching and save rhinos. So that's kind of the idea of utilizing animals in this, if it pays, it stays way. Now, is that the answer? One of the advocates of legalized rhino horn trade is South African farmer, John Hume. On the black market, the retail value of this horn would be a quarter million dollars. The operation is painless. It'll take two years before he goes through the same procedure again. All I need is for it to be legal. I don't think that that is um, an answer. It's actually creating the message that somehow it's okay again. There's also the issue of, is it humane? to even treat an animal in that way. And one of the things um, that you see in the last animals is that sometimes animals can be sedated and they don't always wake up. While the debate continues, endangered animals die. As the rhinos have gone, so have the elephants. In the year I was born, there were 22,000 in Corumba. Today, there are 1,200. Penelope Pulu, VOA News.